Hello guys and girls, uh, Raj here, back with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create a pipeline using AWS Code Pipeline uh, to run your CloudFormation. So the CloudFormation is in my uh, GitHub repository, and this is the CloudFormation that we are going to run. Uh, pretty straightforward CloudFormation. Uh, it's just creating a S3 bucket and then outputting the name of the bucket. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. So you guys are probably thinking, hey, I'm just gonna go to the console and uh, create the pipeline using this new service role. Please do not do that. Uh, if, you, if you keep this as a new service role, uh, your pipeline will fail uh, for the cloud formation. The reason is the service role that code pipeline creates, uh, it expects uh, specific things like uh, depending on the pipeline name, let's say you give it S3 test or something, uh, it creates the role and then it can only read from S3 bucket, which starts with S3 test, uh, and then it creates some of these name specific things. Uh, so we are gonna create the service roles ourselves. Okay, so um, let's go to IAM and create this code pipeline service role. Okay, I am in the IAM uh, screen uh, if I click create role, uh, see uh, another thing is here you cannot select code pipeline as the trust entity. Uh, I don't know why, um, but let's click this EC2 and then we're gonna go change it. Click permissions, don't, don't attach anything. Click next tags, next review. How about code pipeline demo? service role. Okay, and then change this description to code pipeline. Okay. See this trusted entity says uh, ec2.amazonaws.com and uh, that's how the role knows that what service is gonna assume the role. Uh, but don't worry, we're gonna change this to code pipeline. Uh, so click create role Okay, then search for code pipeline. The new role should come up. Okay, see the AWS service says EC2. Click this. Now uh, click add inline policy. Click JSON and paste this policy. Don't worry, I'm gonna give the link to this policy um, in the description. Okay, click review policy. Uh, give it custom cut pipeline policy version two. Click create policy. Okay, now let's go to trust relationships. Okay, here you can see uh, it says ec2.amazonaws.com. Uh, we are gonna change to uh, code pipeline. Okay, so paste this. Click update trust policy. Okay, so now if you go back to uh, demo, see now the AWS service says uh, code pipeline. Uh, so we need another role uh, for the cloud formation to assume, uh, but that's 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 easier uh, than this. Okay, let's create the role for cloud formation. Click create role. Um, let's find cloud formation. Here we go, cloud formation, click permissions. Uh, so let's do S3, S3 full access. Okay, this that's all we need for this. So we'll say cloud formation, S3 role. So uh, this is just for this demo, but depending on what resources you are spinning up from cloud formation, uh, you might have to uh, attach more policies. Uh, but in this demo, we are just gonna spin up S3, so that's why I attach the policy for S3. Click create role. Okay, so now that roles are created, uh, let's go to code pipeline. So you can just type in here. Okay, click uh, create pipeline. Uh, pipeline name. How about S3 CFD demo? pipeline, okay, click existing service role, and we are going to find the demo, 
This is the role we created. Click Next. Source Provider GitHub. So click Connect to GitHub. So uh, if you have not connected to GitHub before, it's going to ask you the username, password, and all the usual stuff. Um, so I connected to the GitHub repository that I showed you guys. Um, so if I go back, um, so the name of the repository is CloudFormation Demo, branch is master. Uh, so this is pretty nifty. If you guys remember during Jenkins, we had to go do the webhooks manually. However, uh, for code pipeline, the code pipeline will automatically create the webhooks uh, in GitHub. Uh, what this means is anytime anything changes in that repository, uh, GitHub is gonna uh, notify code pipeline and your pipeline will be automatically uh, submitted. The other alternate is a code pipeline can check periodically. Uh, however, uh, the webhook is the recommended approach. Uh, okay, click next. Uh, so this is the build stage. Uh, we don't have anything to build because build generally means that you are compiling the program, uh, installing some packages, etc. Uh, but we are just running a cloud formation. Uh, so no build needed. Uh, so click skip build stage, click skip. Um, so deployment provider, uh, we select CloudFormation. Uh, so there are two different ways to deploy CloudFormation. Uh, one is uh, create or update a stack, pretty straightforward. Uh, second is through a chain set. Uh, so if you just do create or update a stack, it's gonna update the stack, no problem, uh, but it's not gonna show the differences. Uh, so we are gonna actually start with this create or update a stack, and then I'm also gonna show you uh, how to do it using chain set in a separate video. Uh, so click create or update a stack. Uh, let's give a stack name. How about S3 demo code pipeline stack. Artifact name, click source artifact. Uh, so this means that it's pointing uh, to the GitHub repository and the file name is the CloudFormation uh, name, okay? So if I go to my repository, um, so this is the CloudFormation, go back. Okay, give the CloudFormation name and this is the CloudFormation role. Okay, CloudFormation S3 role. Uh, click next, click create pipeline. Okay, it started. It's automatically gonna uh, get the CloudFormation template and then try to deploy. Okay, so uh, it successfully uh, executed both the steps. Uh, so let's click AWS CloudFormation, S3 demo code pipeline stack. Uh, so if we click output, uh, so this is the bucket name. Uh, so now let's do a test. Let's try to uh, update the CloudFormation and uh, see if it uh, does anything. Okay, so how about we are in our GitHub repository. I'm just gonna remove this output section, okay? Uh, just to test out. So click edit and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be lazy and do the edits in the GitHub uh, web console itself. Uh, so let's see. Okay, scroll down, click commit changes. Let's go back to pipeline. Okay, see it automatically started the pipeline. Uh, because if you guys remember uh, from the Jenkins video, uh, we had to set up the automatic trigger using the webhook, but here code pipeline does it for you. Uh, so okay, and now the deployment is going on. Okay, so let's go to CloudFormation. So if we click Outputs now, there shouldn't be anything because we removed the Output section. Uh, click Outputs, uh, there is nothing there. And you can see it updated the stack. It did not create a new stack. Uh, so like I mentioned, it works fine. Uh, however, if you want to uh, validate the chain sets, if I click chain set, there is no chain set here. Um, so, all right, in the next video, I'm going to show how you can uh, use code pipeline uh, to generate chain set uh, and then execute the cloud formation. All right, guys and girls, uh, that is the video. Uh, if you like this video or any of the content in my channel, 
uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, I will see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.